Today we're gonna be moving the pigs and we're gonna show you how we run chores around here. We have, right now we just went and got some feed for all the animals, they were running really low. And so we're a little behind today, a little bit behind schedule. This is how we get the feed to the back. We just use the lawn mower. Right there we dropped off the chickens feed and now we're gonna drop off the pigs and we are going to move them today. So in here, this is kind of turned into our storage shed. Um, this is where we used to have the pigs at, but now since they're out there, we just use this for all of our storage so that we don't gotta be back and forth out the garage. It also has become a little nesting area for two of our chickens. So they've been coming in here every day and laying some eggs, which we don't mind. And then this pool, and this pool we can actually probably put out to probably put out today um they usually like to just lay in them and it kind of keeps them cool we i gotta cut all this too so we have like a jungle out here as you can see i just bought a machete so i'll be able to just start chopping all this down this one's giving us a little arch yeah <laughs> so i feel like yeah, every year good. obviously you know we get this, but it looks so much different, right? When there's no leaves. Yeah, and this like, year, this is worse because last yeah. year we didn't chop it down. It's just, we just let it die. Mm -hmm. And then now it just grew. Yo, it's like, it's like massive, yeah. yeah. So first. We were confident though. Where are the pigs at? They're in their house. He's looking for the pigs, they're in their house. Oh. They're in the house, they're always in their house. Told you. Oh, all right. Also, their house, I feel like maybe we should take it, off the back end to it so to give it more airflow. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. All right, I'm going to feed the piglets first and then... They're staying there though, right? Yeah, they stay in They here. just moved. <clears throat> These two um, little ones here, they, they seem to be the problem. They continue and continue to test the fence and it's a really strong fence and like maybe once out of the day if they hear us you'll hear them in the yard like they'll squeal because they got shocked with the fence they are very hard-headed um so we always got to make sure that that fence is hot because the other day we didn't have it on right yeah it wasn't on and something told me to come back here when i came back here charlotte was all the way like on the other side of the property and I had to get her back in. Um, so yeah, these two, they respect the fence. Like, I don't even think their fence is hot right now. No, it's not. It yeah, it's not hot, hot and they just, they won't come out. So they're they're pretty good. All right. Um, so it's moving day for these two. I'm gonna put their buckets over here and then. So where's the area that you cleaned out? Back here. So, so just to show you guys, this is probably like a quarter where where we've been having them is like a quarter of what we have total uh in the woods and so we don't have any more place to move them they've they're still like old manure on the ground and so we don't want to just keep moving them on old manure well we haven't but um we don't want to start so the reason why we haven't moved them back here is because we had all of these trees that some of them i cut and then some of them they fell down from the storms that we've had and so this morning I got out here bright and early and started getting some lifted off the ground because we have to move them. And this is where they need to go next. So I was able to clear up some space. There are still some on the ground, like we got these two, but they're just gonna come right over here. And I didn't do like a perfect job as far as getting everything. Usually we'll, we'll take up all the little branches, but I don't really care for the little branches anymore. Um, we'll just let them decompose right into the soil and it'll help. So basically we are going to put them right over here. So this is definitely like brand new for them. They've never been this far back. Yeah. I um, mean, there's no grass for them, but we're working on that. Yeah. Um, I will say that if anyone was wondering what our biggest struggle would be here on the homestead, it would have to be not having the right equipment to clear out um, the land that we have because there's so much that's unused, right? Yeah. And that we can't use. And if we were able to, if it was clear, we would have so much more yeah. space to 
rotate them and like this wouldn't be a problem. So that is one of our problems that we do have here on the homestead. Um, so we're like working on that. We definitely need the right equipment. Um, so that's kind of like a goal on our list yeah. for, you know, for this. We will say that all of this has gotten done without equipment, so you don't necessarily need it, um, but it will make the process faster. <coughs> the mushrooms? Yeah, they say if you boil it, I think if you boil it or something. Whoa. Oh, wow. So we have what? Forest chicken? Yeah, I think that's what it, I Googled it earlier. If you cut it and boil it, mm -hmm. I think that... uh. It's like real good for tumors and stuff. In your body? Yeah, it helps with tumor. Like if you have a tumor. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be nice to use just for health, but I would we would be the one to cut it and it's poisonous. What? Well, well. <laughs> I'm gonna just grab the feed and hopefully they follow me. These um two pigs are pretty easy. They don't really roam too much. Um, but yeah, so let's just get them to the back. Come on, um, Elizabeth, come on, come on, come on, Lizzie, come on, Carter, come on, come on, hey, here, piggy, 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 here, 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 piggy, 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 come on, come on, come on, Carter, come on. Got him in, fairly easy. We're just waiting on Big Mama over there. She's pretty slow. She needs her um, hooves trimmed. That's actually next on the list for her. Right here. So what we do is we'll usually just, um, ooh, while Mikey's getting like the fence going around like that, I'll distract them with a little bit of food in their bows like that and then i'll just keep some and as i see that they're finishing um i'll just keep pouring more just to kind of keep them right here until the fence is put up so this is the premier um one hog fence that's what we use and it's the best super easy to move as you can tell and we got the one with the bigger holes so it looks like that And we have no issues with them. I believe we can use this for sheep, right? Yeah. So whenever we transition to getting um, the sheep, we will just use the same fencing as well. All right, so pig chores are done. They are all moved into their new area. It's pretty big. If you see, it goes all the way around. Got their house in. They're, we're gonna fill them up with some water. They just ate. Um, so yeah, on to the next thing. And we're here just looking at Lizzie because we think she might be pregnant. So yep, that's a little bit of a curveball, but we did it to ourselves because we we put them together so that she could get pregnant. But we kind of changed plans a little bit with what we're going to be doing with the pigs. Um, so if she is pregnant, it is a little bit of a curveball, but it is what it is. We'll just, if anything, we'll just try to sell them, you know as soon as they're born type of thing. Like we won't wait for them to get big. Like we did with um, yeah. these two back there. Mm -hmm. So it's all good, it's, n it's not a big deal. Um, I feel like what happened was too, we got comfortable because she didn't get pregnant. Yeah. Like we were like, okay, maybe she's just old and like past her, you know, her time. So we were like, all right, whatever. I guess they're like brother and sister feel, you know, um, which they still can be, but she's looking a little different. So we're just gonna have to keep this eye out on her and if so get her into the shed and that just starts up a whole new thing so we'll see <laughs> 